In this video tutorial I'm going to show you how to use the E107 banner ad system. Uh, let's go and see what it looks like. If you go to shbt.org.nz you'll see that on the left hand side there's a banner um, ad here. Now why would you have a banner ad? Well there's a couple of reasons. You might want to sell it to your sponsors so you can earn additional revenue for the website or you might just want to promote your um, own products. Each banner has a link that it can go off to and it records all of this, it tracks it for the client. So let's go into the admin area and have a look. I'm already logged in so I can go there and then you click on content banners and we can see that there's one ad in there. If we edit the ad we can see what's in there. Uh, we've just called the campaign Sust. You can just create a new campaign if you did a new banner. You could just create a new name there. Um, you can also give the client a login. So as an example, if I go here and then I go to banner.php, you could send this link to your client. Then they can log in. And they can see the stats for their uh, campaign. So, so far it's had 40 click-throughs and 6,391 impressions. 1% conversion rate. Um, that's not too bad. The average on the internet is 2%. So let's go back to the admin area. And then we'll go, oops, did I break it? Did something wrong there? Oh, that's right, I'm not logged in anymore. So let's log in again. There we go. Right, so we'll go back to content and we'll have a look at the banners again and we'll have a look at that campaign so I can explain some of the bits for you. So there's our client login. Um, I've also uploaded a bunch of banners, well one, I'm going to show you how to upload another one. And then of course you put the URL, so when somebody clicks on there it's going to go to that URL. Um, you can give them unlimited impressions or you might give them a thousand and sell on a thousand basis. You can also schedule the banners. So you might have um, banners that show up just before Christmas and promote your product to clients. And we make it visible to everybody. But you can actually do it by user class as well, but we won't do it um, in this one. So let's create a new banner. I click create new banner. I'm going to create a new campaign. I'll call it SP which stands for Spinning Planet, and the client login will be SP, and uh, I'll just go 1, 2, 3, 4, because I'm going to delete it shortly anyway, and then the URL, www.spinningplanet.co.nz, and I'm going to give it unlimited impressions. Now, of course, we need a banner, because we don't want to use that one, so I'll just create that banner now, and what I'm going to do is upload a, a banner I just quickly created before. So you go to Tools, File Manager, click on News Post Images Directory. It takes a long way to get here, that's just the way the system works. Um, we're hoping to change it with the next revision of E107. But this is how you do it now. Choose um, News Post Images Directory, click Up. And then you'll see there's a banners folder. So all we have to do is go click upload file to this directory. We choose our file. I've put mine in my pictures folder, banners, and there's the spinning planet one. It's pretty bad. I just did it as an example for this. Upload. So that's uploaded our banner. If we now go back to the banner ad system, we can then go into the spinning planet campaign. Oh, there's a bit of a typo. That shouldn't be that. Client should be SP. One, two, three, four. Oops, can't even type. And then we choose our new banner. And we can see that it's there. So we just tick that. And then we go update banner. So now if we go and have a look at the front page and we refresh it again and one more time because it's on random we can see that uh, my ugly banner is there but that's how you add banners to your banner ad system